The squirrel in me recognizes the squirrel in you. <laughs> I'm Justin, jersey number 14. I'm Corey, jersey number 72. Yeah. Uh, I love how that, like, it's just a quote attributed to nobody. Yep. At all. Just the random squirrel that darts out in front of your car and mm-hmm. flirts with suicide and mm-hmm. debates, do I kill myself today? Maybe. Look how cute. Um, he's so cute. Must be Christmas time. Yeah. Where this was taken. That person also needs to, uh, maybe a little, maybe a little vacuum. To the sheet there, huh? <laughs> Replace it before we take photo ops of, of a squirrel in your house. Yeah, of nature indoors. <laughs> what the hell, man? So good for them. Good oh. for them. Clean your house, though. We had to start here because, man, I, I I'll tell you this: <laughs> I should be depressed. I should. Yes, I'm strangely relieved. <clears throat> I so. I, I had an inkling going into the series after what happened in the first round. By the way, we're talking NBA playoffs. Yep. Um, we'll, we'll be here for a second before we hop into today's topic. Uh, the Suns were the best basketball team in the league this year. Yeah, like, far I and away. I don't think there's a question to that. No. Um, but the Mavs wanted it more. Like, how mad can I be? Like, they were running them <clears> off the court in, in that sickening display in Game 7. 40 points yeah dude come on yeah like clearly they didn't want it they didn't and it's crazy because you expect like this is and you guys had home court too obviously yep you know like this is this is that's when you expect your guys to show up and for everybody Mm -hmm. that knocks chris paul like all this does is give them ammo yep you know when he had came out and he had killed it uh you know in the first first series so it's it's depressing, man. As a Sixers fan, I was like, Miami, I was like, okay, they're a problem for us. It's But, like, okay, we got Embiid back. We even the series at two. So you're saying there's a chance. Mm-hmm. And it just got to a point where you could tell, like, he was – He's running on fumes out there, dude. Yep. Like, you can only expect him to do but so much. And when you have James Harden out here, the guy that you traded douchebag Ben Simmons for, and James Harden is now taking, I think it was two shots in the second half. Or it was two shots in the, in the fourth quarter. I can't remember. But, like, so you traded you traded Ben Simmons for Ben Simmons <laughs> in a clutch spot, dude. Like, James Harden's a scoring champ. He's a former MVP. Like, that, you bring him in because you're supposed to win in those spots. Because mm-hmm. Ben Simmons would rather not have a dunk and pass to Matisse Thibel and get a foul. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's just like, I was at least hoping to take a step toward the conference finals this year. Yeah. At least that would have been cool. Mm-hmm. But here we are, another Bounced underachieving ass Sixers squad, Doc Rivers sitting there looking dumb as fuck. Yep. How does this happen? Yeah. You well, know? Th- that's the thing I've I've been asking. Like, how do they get so badly run off the court? Like, not just, how do you get to game seven, first of all? Like, how do you not show up the entire season? Or right. Series. Mm-hmm. Like, even the games they won, like, they were getting worked by, like, 15 in the first quarter in game four four yeah and then they they finally showed up and put it away like by 20 or something right right but all three games in dallas worked yeah like destroyed house dude and i'm like yeah i mean again like i'm i had a premonition because of what happened in the first round i was like i don't like this i don't like this matchup at all and then like (laughs) let's say if they somehow caught up from 40 points behind last night they're gonna get destroyed by the Warriors. Mm-hmm. They don't stand a chance. Like, what? What is this team? They're very. It's like they're very hard to figure out. It's very bipolar, and <clears throat> it's crazy because at their best, both teams are damn hard to beat. But it's yeah. like it, it. It. There's almost like times, like you were saying with Phoenix in Game Seven. There's almost times where it feels like they don't even like. They physically stepped out of the locker room, but their fucking souls didn't. Absolutely. That's and that's exact. There was zero heart. Book, none. Book played his ass off. I can't mm-hmm. put this on him. I can't. I, I can't hang it on him. Right. Every time I'm looking at his stat line, you know, last night being the exception, um, he's doing his part. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul. Yeah, he dude. was a ghost in that entire series. Yep. A complete yep. ghost. Yeah. Frustrating. Frustrating. Both so. squads didn't even get to the conference finals because yeah. we're sitting here. What a week ago. Yeah. 
And we were like, man, maybe, maybe, maybe this it's year. Still, it's still alive. It's still alive. We still have a chance, man. Sixers, Suns. Yep. No, we couldn't even. Neither one makes it past the semis this year. I'm convinced I will never see a Suns championship in my lifetime. I'm convinced. This is this was the best opportunity <sighs> yeah. last year and this year. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Like, I mean, Aiton's, Aiton's coming up on his contract. Uh, yep. He's going to be hard to keep. Um, Paul's another year older. Mm-hmm. McGee is another year older. Yep. Like, all the pieces are another year older. Like, th- there's a lot of great young talent. Like, I don't mean to disparage, but, like, the the finals levels level talent right this was this was this was it man like chris paul showed up last year and he was there almost all year this year yeah dude what's crazy is like you look at like i mean obviously these games aren't played on paper which is why we're in the fucking situation we're in but Mm -hmm. you look on paper and it's like yeah the mavs are 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 plucky they got luca but I don't know, man. Like, you thought the Suns, like, that should be a fairly easy path. You'd think. You know? The East all year, I was like, man, if if the Sixers make it out, you know, with the way the top of the East is with Milwaukee, Boston, and Miami, you know, I kind of had a feeling we wouldn't make it out, but I kept kept holding out that hope that we kept Mm -hmm. trying to manifest and speak into existence. (laughs) Maybe this year, finally. (laughs) Maybe this year. I'm... (laughs) And no, we couldn't even get to a game seven, dude. I was telling, like, Sean the other night, the night of game six, that's why I was telling them. I was like, we'll win tonight (laughs) to force a game seven, and then we'll shit ourselves in game seven. And Jimmy Butler came out, another one we let get away, Mm -hmm. and was just like, nah, fuck you guys. (laughs) Him and Max Struess out there killing us. And it's like, we've got possible Embiid, but pro- M- MVP and Embiid, who's not going to win it again because they're going to give it to the loaf of bread from Denver. Mm-hmm. But you got him and you got fucking Harden out there. And maxie has been killing it. Like, Maxi is awesome. And you've got those dudes and, like, we're still we're still sitting out here early in the series starting out trotting out DeAndre Jordan. <laughs> starting him like it's 2013. <laughs> like, what are we doing, man? Like, Doc, I get he was your boy with the Clippers, man, yeah. but this isn't the Clippers. And it's not the Clippers. You know? Uh, but same result. How are we getting burned by the same Clippers dudes? <laughs> right. I hate the Clippers. I officially hate the Clippers. For now. no other reason. Yeah, and we have their old coach, Doc, who just sits there and looks I, like an ass when we're man, getting worked. I don't know, man. Like like I said, though, I'm, I'm strangely, strangely relieved because, like, it's over. I've been, yeah, I've been paying attention all season long, and especially this playoffs. They've been stressing me out. Last year, like last year, going to the finals stressed me the hell out. And it's like, you know what? I don't know why I thought different. I've been a Suns fan for twenty seven years, and this is this is what it is. Like, Masochism, friend. This is what it is. Yep. And yep. Going back to like, probably next year we're looking at an eight seed. And then we'll be lucky to sniff the playoffs for another 10, I bet. Yeah, it's frustrating, dude, because it's it's like, it, yeah. I, like, I look at Embiid, and I was like, this dude has a chance to be, like, a fucking legend, man. Like, he could be Mount Rushmore in Philly all time. Like, you could be up there with Nick Foles, one dude. Chip. That's all it takes. That's it, man. Like, And it's like, I feel bad for this dude. Part of me is like, if I were him, I would be like, get... I mean, it's easy for me, like, but he's so like he's pro the city and he wants to deliver a fucking championship to Philly. I don't know why, because, <laughs> yeah, but I'd be like, fuck, get me out of here, dude. They will turn on him with a swiftness. <laughs> yeah, like, get me out of here, man. I'm done being like the leader of this underachieving bullshit and constantly being like, get on my back, let's do this. Yeah, and like when he's like made it through all these injuries out there, rocking the Phantom of the Opera mask, <laughs> and he's like looking to you know. His teammates going like I, I can't, I can't give anymore. Can can you can, can you give a little bit more? Can you guys help? Like nah, I'm James Harden. I'd rather be eating wings in a strip club, get getting getting chubby, you know, Man. by basketball standards. Man. Like fuck you, dude, and uh, fuck Doc Rivers too. I'm just, you know, I don't even know who to point the finger at with the Suns. At least you have some finger pointing you can do, like. I just hate everybody except Embiid and Maxi, bro. That's it. Like th- those are the only two dudes I like because it's like we got Simmons out of here. Yeah. <laughs> like this was supposed. Where are you, Harden? Yeah. Yeah. Where? Where? 
I I guess Fuck, man. for real, like I I flipped the switch on Jay Crowder last year because watching the watching the playoffs, like he, I could see his presence on the court. Right. Get him the fuck off my squad, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. All the brick laying this year, and then like nothing else uh-huh. on his stat line. Right. And it's like cool. So you you want to go one for seventeen? You're just gonna keep launching threes. <laughs> yeah. And then what? <laughs> what good is this? What what purpose does this serve exactly? Absolutely none. Get, I know, get the hell off my squad. Yeah. Give it, give the permanent nod to Bridges and I uh, love Bridges. Bring Johnson bring Johnson in. I love Bridges. We drafted him, Villanova kid, and then we sent him to you guys. And like I yeah, it I I, I wish we had a Bridges right now. <laughs> I mean I, I mean he, to be fair, he probably wouldn't help because he's fucking one guy and James Harden's probably about to get a max contract. <laughs> That's the thing, uh, like fuck me running, dude. All these awesome like cats, like all these young up and comers, the both of the cams, uh, bridges, like yep. none of them, not a not a one showed up against mm-hmm. the Mavs. None of them. And that's when you need your bench. That's when you need your depth. And that, like, for me, especially for like Phoenix, you guys have it. Like this, we have no depth, dude. Yeah, nothing but depth. <laughs> we have none. We have no depth. Like we had to start DeAndre Jordan. In 2022, <laughs> DeAndre Jordan. Good for him. Yeah, good for you out there getting minutes but, for no fucking reason yeah. other than your Doc's boy. Yeah. So he can stay on there on the sideline and make big eyes and then defend. We like DeAndre. Okay. I like a lot of things too, but you know what? Not all of them are good for me. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Shall we get off the salt train? Yeah, we feel- uh, let's not hate our teams anymore because yeah. we could go on for hours about the misery of our basketball teams. Just saying, then I'm actually kind of thankful it's over. I don't have to pay attention to it anymore. Baseball's still early enough to where like I can just I I can check in daily, see yep. how the team's playing. Yeah, you know, once we get a little bit further into the season, I'll I'll be really invested in that. So it's kind of nice to have it have a break. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. So, Ironically even though, enough, even though. The team underperformed, and it's it's rather disappointing. And I, look, man, like I, I I'll I'll close it on on this game seven. Disgusting. Just I was, yeah, I was disgusted. Just absolutely disgusted by this squad. And it's like they've been so good uh-huh. for two years. Mm-hmm. So good, one of the best teams in basketball for two straight years. To not show up the entire series. That should tell you something. They're, they're a good enough squad that they pushed it to seven, even though they didn't show up. Mm-hmm. Imagine if they showed up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly, dude. And that, like, just the Philly and me, I was like, we'll make it to seven <laughs> just because we like to torture ourselves. Mm-hmm. And then we'll wait to game seven to have, like, a Phoenix style game seven where we just get, <laughs> like, just shit on. Yeah. And it, we were points. like, no, what we don't. This? Yeah, we're done. Let's I'm just... actually kind of envious, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it, I'll take the game six loss. <laughs> I was like, no, we don't even. James Harden was just like, get me to the strip club now. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I'm not here. You brought me here. Just, just pay me, please. <sighs> just pay me. Gross. Yeah, we I, will, we I hate them. Continue to go on forever if we don't. Jump. Yes, yes. So let's make the jump. Uh, let's right be the road, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, Eight hundred four represent RVA. I. It, we've only done you know the well. We did the pilots too. We, we did, did. the Peninsula pilots. Um, but we've only done the tides. Yes. And first of all, you have no idea how happy I was when they stopped being the Richmond Braves. <laughs> right? Because ew. Just gross. Ew. Just gross. Yeah. Now, the one of the best things about jumping into minor league baseball stuff is this. Is, let's see. Let me point correctly. These hats. Oh, dude. Minor league baseball caps are the, are the best. They Aren't are they? just the best. Because, like... So I guess this is probably their regular cap right here. That's I believe so. It's it's solid. That it's is solid. a good baseball cap. The actual flying squirrel, that's kind of cool too. That's that's pretty neat. But look at all. Look at them taking chances. Yeah, dude. Well, one of my favorite things about minor league baseball is wacky, zany promotion night. Mm-hmm. And every promotion night comes with a hat. Yes. It's so great, dude. Yes. It's so awesome. Like the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs, the Phil's AAA affiliate had like, they had like bacon night. So they had like a bacon hat. And I was just like, this is the best thing ever. Making bacon has a bacon hat constantly. Oh, that's a team. 
I, and that's another thing that like is like the, some of the minor league baseball teams, like this for example, the, the flying, flying squirrels. squirrels. How many how many flying squirrels are there out there? There's like not the a lot. Team, yeah. Right. Like you get plenty of the like even the Braves, like you were saying, the Richmond Braves. Okay, Atlanta. The Bingham the Binghamton, the triple A affiliate for the Mets were the Binghamton Mets forever. It's like eh. Yeah, like eh, we get it. We get it. Cool. Same name. Awesome. So we know who it is. But you know what sounds better? The flying squirrels. It's more fun. It's more whimsical. And you can do shit like this. Like, look at all these caps like you were saying, man. This fun well one is nice. Yeah, dude. Like I my favorite of the bunch is the that one. Yeah, the faux back uh R with the 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 Commonwealth yeah. outline in it. I love this one. It's kinda it reminds me of something you would see at a truck stop, <laughs> but it's not a trucker's hat because it doesn't have the mesh. I would rock the hell out of that thing. It is awesomely tacky. I love how like, you know, you, you type in Richmond Flying Squirrels jerseys, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, of course you got some you got their regular stuff, which their regular stuff is very cool. I enjoy it. It's yes. it is very neat. But you just scroll down and immediately you're getting into the wacky nights. <laughs> it's just, like awesome. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Uh, this looks like it might be concept guy, but it's from richmond.com. We're going to open that one up. Let's see. Yeah, that one looks here. like fun. And that's what it, it just allows some. You can color outside the lines in minor league baseball. Be and that's all they do. Yeah, because it's, yeah, because it's not, you know, we'll bring it back to again. MLB, where it takes nine years to release 30 City Connects. Like yep. MLB is stuffy and starchy and takes itself too seriously. Minor league baseball is fun, dude. Like they don't care. Just pay your 10 oh, bucks, 15 dude. bucks. Uh, paywall. We hate dude. you, paywalls. But. Minor league baseball is all about fun, dude. You just pay a couple bucks. You go have something to do on a Saturday night. You have mm -hmm. a couple beers, maybe catch a foul ball, give it to a little girl that you hate and regret <laughs> a year or two later. Um, and yeah, like it's fun, dude. Even the tides, like it's awesome going there. Yeah. It's just something to do and it's fun and nobody takes themselves too seriously. That Funville one is great. So apparently this is the one that they wear every Sunday. That was the one thing I got to see before the article was like, yeah, you yeah, got to pay money. for this, by the uh -uh. way. Yeah. No, we, Hell with you, we, Richmond we, we Times Dispatch or whoever you are. <laughs> waffle. Yeah. Oh, waffle. dude, give me the waffles. <laughs> that is, oh, yes, dude. But, and see, that's what, okay. The hell does waffle, do waffles have to do with Richmond? Well, nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, we're in the mood for breakfast. Yo. It's very like oh, the dude. Sandlot, you know what I mean? Like, this guy kind of looks like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He does. These are, yeah, dude. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it even more now that I see the the jersey with it. I want to see this. This is awesome. I love that. that. I love that. Yeah, dude. What's up, concept guy? <laughs> concept guy coming in clutch with the. I mean, these are great, dude. These are great. So I know that like Luchador Night was a thing in minor league baseball, and like a bunch of the teams put out Luchador gear, and this is this is Richmond's the ideas. Like, it, look it's at just, the colors. Look how fun! And that's the other thing, man. You're taking big swings with with big colors. And look, look, we're just two dudes who live in Hampton, but yes, like look how, look how excited we are about this. Yeah, because it's different. Dude, I'd be geeked if we took an hour road trip to be like, let's catch a flying squirrels game, and they had the Ardeas on. Yeah. Or something like that. Or the Fobacks. Or Waffles. Like, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. What's funny is, like, this is probably the worst one I've seen, and that, even that's not bad. I like the front. The back is, what is going on there, though? <laughs> that's the clip arts. That's yeah. the Sixers Bell clip arts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, but yeah, it... it Minor league baseball is like you expect this and it's not like it's not an insult when you see this at minor league baseball. It's not like, oh, here's the Cleveland Guardians. The Richmond Hush Puppies. What? What? <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know when this was. Cause it seems like the food one already happened, but So we're both originally from the north. Mm -hmm. Can I just say real quick, Hush Puppies? Solid thing here in the South. Yeah. Big fan. Very solid, Big yeah. Fan. I didn't put one in my face until I was like a late teen, and I realized what I had been robbing myself of <laughs> my whole life. 
that's one of the if we're ranking under if we're ranking this is a grease pole topic rank or cookout side item mm-hmm. draft hush puppies are are the fringe first rounder dude dude squirrel stock oh oh how fun oh like this is just a blast man i don't know when this was but i need oh, that 2019 Am, oh do you have leftovers maybe richmond you want to send American your boys <laughs> yeah like i'm surprised that hasn't happened yet swag night like hook you boys up with some swag for real like richmond i mean i like we love you but i've spent a lot of quality time in richmond i guess you could say like what come on but how many people are talking about you though look at the jaws gear look at the jaws gear what does jaws richmond is landlocked they're they're going for it though <laughs> like should we have jaws night yeah yeah let's it. do it why not why not richmond a blast look at all these these are fun and exciting they are, dude. Grateful, <laughs> Grateful oh. Dead. Oh my God! When was that? Uh, I don't see a, it. Says twenty twenty two. So they they might not have oh, rocked those shit. yet. Road trip. <laughs> I I dude, I would drive. Dude. An, I would drive an hour for those. It's a Hawaii Holy jersey. shit, dude! I am all in on the squirrels. The squirrels are getting weird with it. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, salute to Hoops Night basketball tank top. Yeah, uh, why? Yeah, <laughs> that's a little, <laughs> let's pay tribute to another sport. That's, that's a little far out of out of our bounds. Yeah, stick with breakfast and tie dye, please. <laughs> I don't know, man. Part of me thinks the Funville is the best, but then there's the waffle. So I don't know, man. If we're going wacky zany, I like the waffle, um, preferably the Fobex. Those are just yeah, all day. Give me those. Uh, but like you said, even the regular gimmicks are solid. But yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, God, I love those. But the regular stuff is cool, man. It's got a little, like, late 90s vibe to it, kind of. But why mess with it? Yeah. Why mess with it? You're the Richmond Flying Squirrels. That's right. Just, just, just go with it. Just have fun. Yeah. YOLO. And they did. They and did. they do. Uh, big fan. Look big. at all the colors. Yeah, man. Look. I love the orange and black RVAs. Not being tied down. Again, like we t- we talk about, like if you're gonna take chances moving away from your colors, do yeah, it, do it big, right? Go big or go home. This is cool. I do like that. Yeah, dude. Oh man, concept guy's a winner too. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, these clearly like are the actual releases because it's in the Times Dispatch. Oh shit. Okay. It's that that uh, article. When oh yeah, the paywall. Yeah. Damn it. We hate you, Times Dispatch. The Richmond Rhinos? Okay, so... What could have been night? <laughs> <laughs> Getting weird. I'm with it. <laughs> that's the that's the hockey team that got nuked. <laughs> we almost had a hockey team. They never existed, but we'll bring them back one night. You're right. You know what? Let's, Hell yeah. Let's bring up the Hampton Roads Rhinos, and then uh, we will call it... On this I, episode. Yeah, dude, I remember this wasn't long after I'm like we moved down here and I remember you could get like Pepsi cans with the <laughs> with the the thing on it. Yep, there's there one is. Yep. yep. Like they were everywhere, dude. Like and it was so cool. Like, yo, there's about to be a hockey team here. Fuck I was, yeah. yeah. I was so geeked up for it. I actually kinda like this. Concept, Me too. That's for sale. That's in stock. I mean, obviously they'd never played a game. They didn't they they never existed, so I don't know. <laughs> Who I, made this? <laughs> I a bored dude, yeah. but good for him because I would uh I would rock the hell out of that. Um, hundred and forty nine bucks. I'm thinking about it, uh, dude. Right? Like those are sick colors. I would be like, yo, look at our squad here in the Commonwealth, huh? Somebody made them on. Uh, yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know how how or why we were the rhinos. I don't either. Is this one here though? Is that one like uh the one? Is this one like somebody created it on this NHL? One? Oh, this one? Uh, that one. This one. Yeah. Looks like it. Oh, good for them. Was that going to be the colors? I don't remember that, but I, I was also like nine. I mean, again, you look at it. It looks look like this that was logo. Good. I don't know where they're getting the purple from. Me either. This is, yeah, just, okay, well, it's mid-90s, so let's just, everybody gets Anaheim <laughs> Mighty Ducks colors. Man, you what know what, been? man? I think when NHL uh, 
23 comes out, I think we should bring back the rhinos. Bring back the rhinos. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do a, a, a draft. Yes. We can all do a thing. I will go get a PS4 just so <laughs> you, J- Hot Joe, and I can do a thing. I mean, they might be cheap by now. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. They might be Holy cheap by now. Yeah, they might be, dude. Because, yeah, that would be, God, that would be dope. We would, I would never get any sleep. <laughs> we would have to force Hot Joe to stay up our hours. I know, right? You like, how, is, how are we ever? Yeah. You can't go to bed. Fuck your REM cycles and your, your, your kale smoothies. We love you, but you have to stay up and play pucks with us at 2 in the morning. <laughs> because we're out here trying to beat... <laughs> We're trying to beat Vancouver That's right. in the 49th game of the year, and we need you, man. We need you. Yeah, 10 p.m. puck drop. Put your headset on, dude. Uh, well, we I feel like we've done it. We did the thing. There's, Local pod, man. Yeah, there's plenty this more to get fun. into. But, um, we do have a lot of minor league baseball coming. Yeah, we do. so. And this is a perfect time to get into it, dude. Because, I mean, like, again, as we've said, you know who's not putting anything out for us right now? The majors. How awesome would it be to be talking about a City Connect right now instead? I mean, perfect time. But in the meantime, we'll just keep exploring wacky, zany promotions oh, yeah. in minor league baseball because they have fun. They have fun, and we can actually look at their stuff and talk about it. So right. <laughs> and not <laughs> pod for us. <laughs> yeah, not wait you know, a mystery amount of time until old white dudes decide, let's give them another one. So if you've made it this far, wherever you're, if you're watching or listening, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Um, we would appreciate it if you shared and or said hello in the comments if you're watching or yep. share it. Say hi to us on uh, whatever uh, social platform you're on. Yes. At Gear Freaks Pod. We yep. appreciate that. And uh, with that, um, man, the Richmond Flying Squirrels. They are getting weird. Suckers! Oh, wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Topic, topic. <laughs>